together. <laughs> Rosa with hips? Yeah. Oh my god, that's literally Bayo. Bayo Bayo's hips don't lie. They don't. <laughs> I'm not no, they don't. I'm I'm gonna be sure. Rosa gets fit, we'll tell you that all day. Yeah. Bayo's hips do not lie. But we're gonna get back into this game. Number one, we're gonna see Rosa gets fit versus Pugwest, Bayo versus Marth. This is a um uh, Pugwest was saying that he actually is right now. very confident in this matchup. No, this is just how they play neutral. Because uh, <laughs> neither person wants to get hit by the other one. Yeah. But yeah, this is going to be a really interesting matchup. Both players, both characters actually have a really explosive punish game. So I'm just actually really interested to see how the range of Marth can um, counteract Bayo's explosive punish game. It's going to be really interesting to see how this is going to play out. And they're going to SD their socks. Uh, pause, is, the pause is turned off. So yes. they're SDing. Because pausing mid-match would be very unfortunate. Yeah, we, we, we don't got any want any stock losses by pausing. That's very lame. <laughs> it is very lame. Very lame. Especially in a really tense situation, you're trying to mash out of a grab or something, and you just pause it, and you have to kill yourself anyways. It's... All right, we're gonna set this out of Smashville. Going into game number one, I'm not gonna show who I want to win this match, but I'm pretty sure anyone from Georgia will know who I want to win this matchup. But we have to see, Pugwest is a very good player, and so is RGF. But so we're gonna have to see how this is gonna work out. Um, this is that conversion there, and RGF SD. How, how's that? How's that? Uh, that working out for you? <laughs> very unfortunate SD there, but we see the conversion to the top, and RGF makes he it didn't a stock stock. back. He didn't need that stock. He didn't need it anyway. He didn't need that stock. <laughs> He was like, here, I'll give you a freebie right now. And then he just immediately takes Pug West next stock. I didn't need that stock because I was going to take it at zero anyways. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah, Bayonetta, everybody. That's like immediately after SDing, he just went in. So who's the commentator's curse now? <laughs> <laughs> Me. Is this going to be, no, the real question is, is this going to be a set or a combo exhibition? <laughs> or both. Or both. This could be both. But right now, very patient play, but very aggressive play at the same time, trying to read each other's options right now. Marth getting that down throw up there, going to get some really good percent now, and a, a fantastic, perfect shield from Pug West. Bayo's definitely going to be a kill percent now, being very light, trying to get that um, witch time. Okay. We're going to see the conversion here. Very oh. nice. Oh, that was almost a very nice read on that which time going into game number two. Pug West with very, some very nice reads that round, but we saw how fast Rosa gets fit can turn that around. Yeah. If Rosa gets fit had had two stocks, we might have seen a completely different game there. Let's talk about the up smash though. That marked up smash? That marked up foot smash. Hit, the foot hitbox. The they just, foot. <laughs> they just bring, it just like... He just like catches you. He, him towards you. He catches you on his knee, kicks you up into the up smash. <laughs> he's, it's just so fabulous. You just slide up his body to the side. I know, right? He's just like, here, get, come here. All right, we're going to go into, ba uh, my bad, Town and City for game number two. This is going to be very scary if Rose if it gets fit. RGF can get some very good conversions. Uh, he was like, you know what? Maybe I did need that stock. Uh, so yeah. he's not, not going to SD immediately this, this game, too. A little late on that punish for the up B. So RGF needs to find a way to bring this back. Town to neutral. Ooh, very nice witch, witch time. time. We're just going to see a very good combo coming up from RGF, but drops it. Yeah, he misses one of those hits, and that's valuable time for, for a good combo right there. He gets a little percent, but nothing too much. Definitely not another realm of possibility, though. Ooh, very good. good. Hitting him with the dancing blade. Yeah, that was a good upwards dancing blade to send uh, Rosa gets fit in the air. And that tipper forward air. Not quite going to do it. Oh. Pug West put himself in a bad situation. Oh my god. Oh. Very nice DI from Pug West. I feel like Rosa gets fit. Uh, Should have gone for an afterburner kick there. If he would have gone for an afterburner kick, he could have potentially... Um... Oh my gosh, and he's still going for it. Oh my gosh, he should have just went for the back air twice. RGF, please. <laughs> RGF can be very extra sometimes, and it's hilarious. Well... Uh, yeah, that he could have. If he would have gotten like a, gotten oh. like a reverse up smash or something, he could have gotten a stock too. He's still alive, right though. Ooh, and a solid back air taken. Pug West stock right now. Now we're at Rage Bayonetta, everybody. This is going to be a very fun time if RGF gets a good hit. <laughs> Basically, if RGF hits a heel slide, that might be a stock. 
Pug knows what he's doing, though. Trying to stay safe. Ooh. There's the that. heal slide. Very good DI from Pug West. We're going to see the conversion here. Going off stage and not getting out of that. Very good stuff from Pug West. Oh, and, Ooh, and uh, he didn't even need the tipper. That was a that was a questionable witch time right there from Rosie Gets Fit. Um, I respect it though because if he would have gotten it, that would have been the game. Well, Pugwest wasn't doing anything. That he he reacted to the witch time with. Oh, the for sure, smash. that was a very good stuff from Pugwest coming out there. But we're gonna see him at 60% round. Definitely not a deficit he cannot make back. It'd be very scary right now to see what Pugwest can do. Down throw up air gets that tipper. Gonna do a lot of damage. Some unsafe witch times here. Gets the down tilt the wrong direction. Not gonna matter. Oh, slides into the heel slide. It's that backwards hit on the heel slide. Very rare. Very lucky as well. And the, the, the four tilt will take it. The Good old uh, ye old 